Affinity Photo comes with an amazing displacement tool. You can find it in the filters menu, filters and down to distort and displace. But it does need a little bit of setup beforehand. So I'm going to create a layer and new layer. You need to displace something. And I'm going to create something nice, little colorful design using this one, the paint and mixer brush. So select that, set the size to a fairly large size, select any brush you want to use. With that, then go down here and select swatches. Now I'm going to go with say like blues and apply that very quick. And you can apply it over the whole image like that. Then go to say lime, yellow, maybe apply that, maybe go for red. And you can see as you do that. Now you could use gradients for this. You could use a whole range of different things. Maybe images you've created before, just with lots of colors in, it will work sort of the same way. But I'm just going with this, fill some blues in again. It's a real nice tool to create some very quick, very rough sort of color, which is basically what I want. That's where I went there, just go a bit of yellow there, just put dabs in, just apply it like that and finish. Okay, so I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna distort that. I'm gonna apply my displacement, that image that's behind that texture. So make sure it's selected. Now, one thing I like to do is go to layer and I wanna rasterize it. Don't know why, but sometimes it doesn't always seem to work where you don't do this step. So rasterize and it just becomes a normal pixel layer. Once you've got that, go to filters and then down to distort and displace. Select that and you can modify the strength, doesn't matter because what you need to do next, load map from layers beneath. So click there and then you've got that. Straight away you've got like an oil slick, weird distortion. And of course it depends on the displacement map. That displacement map before, which has got a bit of depth in it. So it gives these sort of lovely sort of edges to everything. And that's created in the previous video. And you can modify it, you can go the other way. Sometimes it looks nicer. You might think that looks nicer. Now, unfortunately, I always find it slightly annoying. It just seems to go up and down or diagonally. You can see a diagonal effect there. It would be nice if you could go that way as well, but it doesn't, or a sort of rotation feature. I don't know why that's not included, but still it does create this sort of effect very quickly with that sort of displacement map. And then you simply just click apply. And then that's that. You could apply it again. Now, if you apply it again, so filters, repeat, displacement map, you know, creates an interesting effect as well, but you sort of like it becomes a more painted effect, which I don't particularly want. So just undo. And of course you can manipulate this further, maybe using different color effects. So filters, go down here to colors, maybe use auto levels. You can just, I think that creates a slightly nicer image as well. And the course displacement maps, you could use different displacement maps to this. You could combine different ones, create all kinds of unique designs, oil slick design. And of course, you can distort this as well. So with this selected, go to filters and you go to distort and deform. Before you do that, make certain that you select the move tool. Many of these tools do not seem to work well with deform. So filters, distort and deform. And then you can add your pins there. I always for similarity, and you can just distort it slightly, just slightly, up to you what you want to do. If you want to still keep the original design, obviously just keep it like that. Find out more about displacement maps on this channel here.